Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to set a stop limit order using the Robinhood app. If you're new to investing, or if you've never used a stop limit order before, don't worry. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what a stop limit order is and how to use it to your advantage. Before we get started, let's quickly review what a stop limit order is. A stop limit order is an order to buy or sell a stock when it reaches a certain price called the stop price, but only if it can be executed at a specific price, which is called the limit price or better. This means that you can set a stop limit order to automatically buy or sell a stock at a specific price without having to monitor the stock's price all day. Now let's go to the Robinhood app and see how we can set a stop limit order. First, open the app and find the stock you want to set a stop limit order for. Once you've selected the stock, click on the trade button. So let's go to NVIDIA here for you to use an example. Okay. And then next, select buy or sell, depending on what you want to do. Then select on order types, and then stop limit order. Now you can set your stop price and your limit price. The stop price is the price at which you want the order to be triggered, and the limit price is the maximum price you're willing to pay for a buy order, or the minimum price you're willing to sell for a sell order. Once you've set your stop price and limit price, you can review your order and click review to submit. And that's it. You successfully set a stop limit order using the Robinhood app. I hope this video was helpful for you. Remember, setting a stop limit order can be a powerful tool to help you manage your investments and minimize your risk. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more investing tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.